This is in line with what I've exactly thought this was gonna sound like. Let's take a look. Cause this thing is, I'm not gonna lie dude, this is kinda cute bro. So we got the little line friends kind of engraving here on the right side, which kind of lines up nicely with the frame here, which is really pretty. And then we have the line friends stuff in the middle with the Mino keys. This is a prototype that's been passed around from like a bunch of streamers, so. Oh, I found one of Tim's fingerprints on this actually, and I actually took a piece of tape and some powder, and now I have Tim's fingerprint. So that's always good. And then um, he also sent me some stickers. So also pretty good. Uh, now I have a bunch of stuff from Tim. <laughs> For the side profile, we do have the nice kind of curve in the middle here, so it kind of tapers. Uh, and then we have a very pretty side profile where you can see the curve of the bottom, which isn't exactly a super round curve, by the way. It kind of um, goes up and then quickly tapers inwards, which I kind of think is neat because I feel like a lot of boards have that very like, almost like a semi-circle, you know? Very, very cool. You and Tim's kids will be so cute. Thanks, dude, I really appreciate it. And then we have a little bit of that accent here on the back. Nice little details like everywhere on this board, by the way. Like, look at that. Oh, dude, I know, another blessed JJW. It says line friends on this side. So, and then we have the bottom weight, which is almost reminiscent of how he sort of did the derivative. But again, super pretty, dude. Ah, oh, I don't have movements. I don't know what set I want to use. I was thinking about GMK 8008, like the blue set, but I don't know. We'll take a look from the side profile over here. Yeah, dude, this is nice. This is a very pretty keyboard. I really like this. I think this looks very pretty. There's the back when you have it laid down as well. So I think this is really pretty. This is quite nice. The lighting right now is so good though. I know, but it's just room light. The It's actually, the lighting is actually not even this color. Like in all the other rooms, the lighting is normal like daylight, but because this is bouncing off of a silver building, that's why it looks like golden hour. So this is just a very coincidental light. It's not, that's why it's so funny that it looks like golden hour, but it's not. Uh, he paid for the lights, he's gonna use the lights. That's true. The colors in your office are real nice right now with the natural lights. I know, I, I just, it doesn't last long. This only lasts, like I said, about an hour and a half, so. But yeah, let's um, take a look at what we're gonna use today. We're gonna use some cherry clippings, of course. And then, there was another plate. I'm gonna use the polycarbonate plate today. Light is a paid actor, of course, dude. What camera do you use? I use all Fuji cameras. And then for taking photos, I use a mix of Fuji and Leica. The aluminum plate is a bit of a different color. I'm not sure if that's intentional, but I don't even want to use aluminum. We're gonna stick to polycarb today. This is a dual style mount, so you can do O-ring and top mount. Of course, I'm gonna use top mount for this. Um, I think top mount's gonna be my best friend here with the polycarb. If I did want to go with the um, other plate, I would probably do O-ring. But I think this is gonna be my ideal today is using this particular plate, this guy right over here. Uh, you can do technically both at the same time, but you don't have to. Oh, uh, this is so cute, I want it. Yeah, this is a, can, how much is this board again? I don't remember off the top of my head. I've actually waited so long to get this board in that I don't remember anything about it. 585? Yeah, for like a branded board like this, kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Kind of neat. There's the O rings here, which again, we're, we're probably not gonna use today. I can still try it if you guys would like. We have our PCB. Oh, this is. Oh, this one here's been desoldered. So it's a little dirty, but it's okay. Cute PCB though. I believe this is the final PCB is gonna be purple. So this is gonna be the final color. Very cute PCB. Yeah, this is kind of nice. Mino, Line Friends. Yeah, this is nice. Studio Kestra. So a whole bunch of different familiar faces on here via. Very, very awesome. 
Is this Tim Keyless's desoldering job? Oh, baby. You guys thought today was a Line Friends TKL build, but it's actually Roast of Tim, which is nothing new from our regular programming here, but great. Tim did an okay job. He did okay. Tim Friends TKL. Can you imagine? Tim would be here in the center. I can be like this guy. This can be like Teha, Angel. Uh, someone else, I don't know. <laughs> I love the color of that PCB. Yeah, it's kind of nice. It's a nice purple. And we have the hardware for the top mount as well as some O-rings for burger mount, which I believe you, I'm not sure if you have to use it. I have to double check the, the instructions. <sighs> Do you ever micro balance the two ends? Nope, I have never ever done that one time. Again, I think stabilizer balancing is important. Like I, I, I truly have, I've tried. I've, I've had friends send me those insanely balanced wires, it does not change how I feel about the stab. All right, let's take this guy apart. If you guys wanna see the keyboard one more time as well. So this is the Line Friends TKL designed by JJW, a collaboration with a whole bunch of uh, talented people as well. Like I know Studio Kestra, I believe, did the PCB. But uh, very cute, dude. Very, very cute. So look at that little engraving on the back. Very nice. Nice little border or frame, you can say, around the weight too. Kind of like what we saw in the derivative, I was saying that earlier. We have that nice little back accent as well, which I think looks great on this keyboard. I kind of like the contrasting, this is PVD, this is not. I prefer this to not be PVD'd. I think this is very pretty PVD'd. Side profile is pretty nice too. Kind of showed it off better earlier with the different lighting, but this nice little taper here on the the side too is very pretty. And I think one of the more unique things about this board is this arch in is a lot more dramatic opposed to its normal like curvature, which I've seen on a lot of these style boards. So this is kind of nice too. That is line friends, yeah. And then on the front of the boards, we have internal line friends. Uh, this is probably the only JJW design where all the cool stuff is actually on the back of the keyboard. Thank you, JJW. That means a lot. And then uh, this over here, little accent of uh, one of the characters. Turns out JGW can do it. <laughs> but um, very, very cool. And you know it's gonna probably have that, that signature JJW sound. I'm hoping anyways. I'm hoping this is reminiscent to like what we hear in the cloud line. I think that would be super dope. I think there's also gonna be four colors. It's, uh, the group is open. I think it ends this this week, right? This Friday. No, I was looking for Frank's message. This Friday is when it ends. Internals. So we're gonna put our daughter board in. Like I said, I don't think I'm gonna try the O-ring first. I don't even know if I wanna do the O-ring, to be honest. Just cause I, I have a good feeling the top mount's gonna be exactly what I want. The nice thing about building keyboards and stuff is eventually you kind of like just know what everything's gonna sound like. And these are actually pretty sizable O-rings too. Here, I'll do the corners and then maybe I'll just do, I'll leave this one here with no O-ring. Reminds me of rubber bands. Oh, for braces? I was supposed to have braces. I just got braces today. Yeah, I mean, by all means, like do whatever you guys need to do to feel better about yourselves and like feel good. Like it is nice to have a nice smile and stuff, but. Uh, let's see, hold on, this is not in the area. The only thing I don't like about this board is how the um, daughter board cable sits. So here, I'll show you guys what I mean by that. It kind of has to go up and then this way where I feel like the cable channel should have been this way and then down, or just starting at the bottom. So it's a kind of a little awkward. Let's see if we can finesse it in place though. We did, nice. Daughter board cable problems. I think they're just honestly like very small, like little things. I've built a lot of keyboards, right? I'm not saying I'm the most knowledgeable person in the world, but there's like little inconsistencies that I, I usually face that are like, oh, this could be done better. Uh, the line mini desk mat be cute. Oh yeah, let me go get those, one second. <clears throat> Teha's blonde hair now. 
This is Teja. Because <laughs> the glasses. The gray might look really good on this though, guys. Like the light gray and everything. I have a feeling this would look nice. Just show you guys some more. I'm just trying to convince you guys to go with 8008 blue. Yeah, you know what? That does look nice. You guys are right. Let's see, how does this look on the little desk pad? It's a bit of an, I'll be honest, a little bit of an awkward fit for the desk pad. I wish the desk pad was a little bit wider. Feels like a bit of an awkward fit. It's a cute little desk pad though. This looks great with this set on it, actually. This is actually a sick combo. Damn. Wow. Now I know baby blue works really well with 8008 blue. <sighs> All right. The V1 switches from Jaywick. These are actually um, lubed already. Fantastic factory lubing. Uh, I did AB testing with my own lubing on them. Could not tell. This is the polycarbonate plate with the top mount. Let's see what this sounds like. There's no foam, no nothing like that. Little HJ test for you guys. Ooh. All right, let's see what this is gonna sound like. Yeah, this is in line with what I've exactly thought this was gonna sound like. So, I was expecting this because this is low key kind of what a cloud line sounds like with the same plate. And it is made by the same person, so. If you guys missed out on the cloud line and don't mind the line friends aesthetic, perhaps this is it. I don't think personally this is gonna be the best combo for the O-ring. I've, I've tried O-ring with polycarb. It sounds usually kind of flat. Uh, I mean, it's cute on the inside because this is Line Friends, but it actually doesn't have anything like too in your face on the inside. All the fun stuff for this board's on the outside. I mean, you are, okay. With this board, let's be, let's, let's not kid ourselves. You are putting some of your purchase into the line friends line of stuff. So don't kid yourself. That's where some of that money is going. If you're in the line friends and you were happen to looking for a keyboard and this might be like the perfect board for you. If you're not into line friends, um, I mean, it's still a really cute board. It does have this like, you know, cute little character from line friends there, really cute weight. But some of the money here, like that you're spending, is going into that branding. Outside of that, if you didn't mind some of this cutesy stuff, it's pretty. Like it's a nice board. Like it looks great. Yeah, also, yes, this is only reserved for NA because of branding and stuff like that, too. I'm sure you guys can find proxies and stuff. But you didn't hear it from me. Pretty nice though, I have to admit. Good board. Nice looking board. Got to admit it, dude. It's nice. Oh, this does, it does feel really nice too. I know I didn't really touch on the typing feel. Feels like a top mount. I honestly don't think that burger mount does much at all. Like maybe reduces some of those vibrations, but feels great too. Sounds amazing. Typical top mount feel. Take another little peek at the board again. Pretty nice, dude. Pretty nice. So overall, I do think this is a pretty solid board. Again, but then the price of your side, again, you're paying for that line friend stuff, but uh, A plus. Absolutely nothing about this board with the exception of maybe that internal routing for the cable. Only thing I didn't quite love about it, but everything else is perfect. Uh, and I love you guys. Peace out, everybody.